Hi, my name is George Elder, and I'm the president and operator of Adonai Software. Hello, welcome back. In this session of training, we will go over how critical and important it is uh, to prepare your database to facilitate a well-functioned web application in Iron Speed Designer. The first step should always be to prepare your database. Um, the better your database is structured, the more Iron Speed Designer can do. That's a fact. You'll get more web pages. You'll get more sophisticated master detail web pages, parent child, and it's easier to extend your application later. It's also easier to maintain your data. To get further training on this, um, Iron Speed basically gives a uh, an additional course. It's called uh, Designer 101 getting started with Iron Speed Designer. A well normalized database structures work best since Iron Speed Designer creates a suite of pages for each database table and view you select. Well normalized databases have explicitly defined tables to express most concepts making it easier uh, for Iron Speed Designer to create a more comprehensive application. Iron Speed Designer creates master detail parent child pages based on the one to many relationships in your database. For example, one order may have multiple line items. Accordingly, a well structured database will have both an orders table, which is the master, and an orders detail, or an order detail table, which is the detailed child. A foreign key fill in the order detail table identifies the parent record in the orders table. When Iron Speed Designer creates web pages for the orders table, it will automatically join the order details table and include it as a separate panel on the page, creating a master detail. Let's look at an example of that. Here is the Acme uh, orders table or application and you can get this online at uh, www.ironspeed.com. Here is the parent with all the parent information and below you'll see the orders detail and subsequent orders have the same. As you can see, customer has a customer ID, and in the, in the uh, parent or child table, it will have one customer may have many orders. Same way with orders and orders ID in the order detail table, one order may have multiple line items. Let's talk about lookups. Iron Speed Designer creates drop down lists for every or for data entry based on related lookup tables. For example, an orders table may specify a shipper, a specific FedEx or UPS. While you can use a simple text field in the orders table to identify the shipper, this approach generally results in data entry variations. For instance, uh, FedEx, Federal Express, uh, Fed Express. Uh, so basically you get different variations of what type of shipper it is and it should only be one. Accordingly, it's best to place the shipper information in its own table. With this approach, uh, the simple name is always used to identify a shipper because the application user will always chooses from an approved list. In our example, a foreign key field in the orders table is identifies, well, identifies the specific shipper in the shipper table. When Iron Speed Designer creates web pages for the order table, it will automatically join the shipper table to display the shipper name for data display pages or drop down lists of shippers for data entry pages.
Let's look at a add order table. Now, as you can see, there are several drop downs, and specifically, ship will always show up, and it will show up with the approved uh, name of the shipper. Like this one is uh, Federal Shipping, uh, Speedy Express, and United Package. If we go to the shippers, we can add different shippers in this shippers table, and you will see that Speedy Express, United Package, and Federal Shipping with their adjacent uh, phone numbers is listed. And how do you get that effect is that you have the orders table and you have a shipper's ID and the foreign key is sitting in the orders um, table. Let's talk about keys. Uh, we spoke about them briefly uh, before, but you have to understand that uh, primary keys and foreign keys come from your database, but sometimes they do not. So Ironspeed has the ability to add virtual primary and foreign keys relationships. For instance, uh, primary keys in database tables indicate which field are used to uniquely identify each record. For example, a customer table generally has a customer ID. Primary key field that contains a unique customer ID value for each individual customer in order uh, to produce code that can update and delete an individual record, Iron Speed Designer must know which fields to use as the primary key for selecting and accessing individual records. Make sure every database table has a primary key. This is very important because it allows Iron Speed Designer to create edit records show records and edit table pages for these uh, tables as well as workflow pages. Without a primary key it's impossible to look up an individual record making it impossible to create pages and code that fetches an individual record for display or editing. Frequently a table will use several fields together uh, to form a primary key. For instance if uh, something is common, like uh, uh, customer ID, uh, for instance, uh, you can use customer ID and a date field, or customer ID and a numeric field. These are called composite primary keys. For example, customer table may use uh, the combination of a phone number and the last name uh, to uniquely identify a customer record. Iron Speed Designer determines composite key relationships by querying the system information in the connected databases or database. If multiple rows are returned for a given table, it means that the table has a composite primary key. A primary key consists of multiple fields. So that's very important that you understand that if you do not uh, have a primary key in your database and you need to you know you need to set up a virtual primary key in Iron Speed Designer uh, so that it would recognize the uh, records. And here's an example of that. For instance uh, on the invoices uh, you can set up a virtual foreign key and here's the primary key for uh, sales by category you can use a primary key of category ID. But in invoices, you can use uh, customer ID, order ID, and pr um, uh, product ID. Same way with a uh, report called sales totals by amount, you can use the order ID. You'll get the same effect. Let's talk about database views for a minute. A database view is simply a subset of the database sorted and displayed in a particular way. A database view limits the record displayed and could contain a subset of records such as a product that are in stock or customers that have been purchased 
uh, that had purchased goods greater than a thousand dollars. A view could also contain a subset of the information for each item, such as product name, description, and price, but not the dimensions of the product. Similarly, the order of the columns is specific to the database view as well. Some applications use database views or store procedures to embed security in the database so that the application cannot compromise security regardless of the query used. Because database views are an integral part of your underlying database structure, it's important that your application embrace them. Many organizations use database views as a way of consolidating data for reporting or other uses where a common uh, definition is required. Applications built with IronSpeed Designer fully support database views. For each view, you can control which columns are displayed, what order they are displayed in, how wide each column is, how the data is sorted, and what type of record to display. In general, you can perform any operations on a database view in IronSpeed Designer that you can on any table with the exception of inputting data into the view. This must be done by inputting data into the underlying tables from which uh, the database view is derived from. You cannot create database views in IronSpeed Designer. That is very, very important. That has to be done in the underlying database, SQL Server, uh, any other database uh, that you have. Uh, views must be created with other database tools before IronSpeed Designer can use them. So you have to create them in uh, SQL Server, in Oracle, or whatever uh, database uh, store you're using. IronSpeed Designer creates a full suite of web pages and code for database views, just as it would for a normal uh, database table. IronSpeed Designer treats them, or treats them the same. Uh, database views are great for expressing multi-table joins and for complex queries containing AND, OR, NOT, nested queries, etc. Database views are exceptionally good for expressing filter criteria. IronSpeed Designer is not a query construction tool. This is very important. And it has uh, comparatively weak facilities for expressing multi-table joins and filtering criteria. We strongly encourage you to use database views for all but the simplest relationships. Here's an example and a view of what a database view looks like in SQL Server. And if you have your tables there, and um, you can see how it's complex from the select statement and the inner join. Let's finish up views. Um, you have to make your database views updatable. Most database views are not updatable, meaning the new record cannot be inserted into them or their underlying tables. IronSpeed Designer detects if a view is updatable and creates an add record, edit record, and edit table pages only for updatable views. To make the database view updatable, you must declare a primary key for your database view in your database. Unfortunately, you cannot make a view updatable by creating a virtual primary key uh, for the view in IronSpeed Designer. The database needs the primary key in order to do updatable records. Let's summarize what we've done in this video. Uh, the first thing is the importance of preparing your database. The importance of your database is, is very, very important because how you structure your database is how IronSpeed will uh, facilitate all your pages, uh, parent-child tables, and etc. Uh, we talked about the parent-child uh, tables, um, the orders and details tables, um, the lookup table using a primary key um, to identify uh, foreign keys or connected to other tables with the foreign key and the primary and foreign key virtual keys where iron speed um, if you needed to create 
um, something that uh, did not have a primary or a foreign key in your database, that Iron Speed Designer could facilitate that. And you bet you have to be careful about that. And we also talked about database views. Um, one specific thing about it is that you know it had to be updatable. Uh, if you if your uh, database is not updatable, Iron Speed uh, recognizes that and does not update the underlying tables. So you have to make sure that Iron Speed is updatable. Well, that's it, and I would like to thank you for participating in this video. My name is George Elder, and Feel free to contact me at uh, uh, glder at Adonai Software uh, if you need a copy of this video or you have any questions. Thank you.